Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls Remastered Walkthrough, real walkthrough, now playthrough, the might explode And yeah, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking on the Royal Wood And I'm not going to bother with most enemies in this map I'm just going to grab the stuff uh, When I say stuff, I meant the stone knight armor sets that's here or what they call it the guardians so yeah there's gonna be total of what arm leg chest and then uh, helmets so what four pieces um i don't think you can get their weapon so yeah i don't even think you can kill them for their weapon <laughs> uh right here this is gonna be a shortcut for later on it's pretty close to where the boss is at. So we got the uh, the gauntlets here and hopefully I'll remember to show this off at the end when we get everything. So that's the arms. Um, I'm gonna just keep proceeding down over here. Somebody's following me. Somebody sees me? No? Good. It's so weird playing this game with the uh, more like earphones on because you can hear some stuff. You can hear people following you, but there's actually nobody. Very strange. Ah, bitch. Jesus. Let's grab a heal. These snow knights, if you guys want to take them on, feel free to do so, but as for me, I'm just gonna <laughs> leave them alone most of the time. You can pretty much circle around for to dodge all their attacks. Just lock on and just like straight left from what? I think straight left. Strafing left. It's the easiest way to go for these guys. But I'm not going to take my time to take on all of them. But if you guys want to, you guys can. That's the strategy to take them down. Okay, those guys are going to come down. There we go. Okay. And I don't think there's anything up here that we can get. There are enemies that you can trigger, but I don't think there's anything you can obtain here. Yep. So the next best thing to do is to just proceed on forward. Here's another piece of the Guardian set, so we only need the helmet and the chest now. I don't know if you guys explored, uh... Uh, fuck, I forgot what that forest is called. What's up? I've actually never seen where he spawns from. I wanted to do that, but I ended up forgetting. I was trying to... I don't know what the hell I was talking about. Oh yeah, this guy spawns in behind you. I mean, you could take him on here, but I'm not about to do that. Why? It's a freaking tight ass area, and there's a crystal lizard right here. Is he still following? Okay, good. Come on over here. Well, actually, this is not 
All this place is not a good, <laughs> not really a good place to fight them because they're so tight. Oh shit, he snipped me. I feel like one miss roll and I'm screwed. Please, holy shit. <laughs> okay, that was close. I was getting nervous because if you fall off here, you're screwed. This is the best right here. And so that's why I was trying to avoid fighting him, but <laughs> he fucking chased me all the way. Uh, anyways, we couldn't make this jump. I'm really scared of jumps. That was close. That was so close. Oh, uh, we got more stone knights here. Don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But there is an item over there we can pick up, so that is a good thing. Does he see me? I hear him patrolling over. There's the armor. Peace, sucker. <laughs> Run. And then there's another item right there, but you gotta make another jump. Oh my god. Yep. It's right here. The jump's right there. If you fall, you die. That's death right there. And we got the helmet. So now we got all four pieces. Uh, let me show it to you guys. And here's the stats for it. Like the weight and stuff. If you guys can hear motorcycles in the background. <laughs> sorry. Same old, same old. Lots of motorcycle activities here, or trucks, or whatever. Where I live is really like the freeways right there with just a fence. There's no walls or anything. It's just a fence. So some douchebag decided to drive through the freeway <laughs> with like some out ass shit. Then uh. Yeah, you're gonna be able to hear it. Elizabeth's mushroom. I just obtained. It's heels. I guess if you end up running out of Estes, that's a uh, that's your fallback heel item. So I'm not gonna. Do that jump again. I'm just gonna make it easier on myself by just dropping down right here. And actually, this might be a good place to get some health back, assuming I don't get hit. I don't think there's anything over there to to get. Okay, there is one item over there. Can't recall what this is. Oh, that's why, because it's just souls. Come on. Come on. He's got like, nervous or something. He's being cautious. That's good, because you gotta be cautious. When someone runs at you with a katana, yep, you gotta be cautious, man.
Oh no. Goodbye. Yeah, have you screwed us up? Hang on a second. Ice cream truck is coming. Okay. That's the thing I hate about recording in the mornings, man. There's just so much activities in this neighborhood. Uh, yeah. If I ever get a chance to find a cheaper neighborhood that's not all ghetto and stuff, then definitely gonna move there instead. It's like less loud. Like the pre previous um, place I stayed at was pretty nice. It wasn't like it was quiet most of the time, so that was great. Okay, um, so many enemies here. Shortcuts right here, okay. Well, this is not a shortcut, this is the way to take. You can take to the next area. So I'm gonna run over to the other side to grab some items and then just run straight back. As I am not about to take on all these guys that I'm triggering right now. Gold coin. Stop snipping. And that is pretty much it. Hello. Give me some health back. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that tiny bit of health I mean whatever I can get right uh, let's see now let's make our way over to where we gotta go And I'm recording this on Monday, and I'm pretty sure I'll be posting this <laughs> today. Unless something happens, like, unless I gotta go somewhere or not, whatever, but I don't have any plans. Usually, and this always change after I say it, but usually my days are, my days off are Sundays and Mondays. So during those days, I get a chance to record some. This, it's uh, the shortcut for the end boss of the TFC, but it's a glimpse, and as you guys can see, it's really dark, so it's hinting at where we gotta, well, where we gotta go to fight this guy. And over there, this is pretty cool because you can see where we gotta go next, and it even has the level laid out for you too. So this is what's amazing, but I I don't think you can see other players there. I don't even think you can go over there <laughs> Like if you if you co-op here, you can't go over there And if you like summons a phantom there or whatever you can't come back here, but you can see The next area so you're gonna come out from there and then the bonfire is like right over there And then you just pro progress down. This is so awesome. Like it shows you the whole level and stuff and it always does that too like I think in Demon Soul it did that and all the way till Dark Souls 3 like including Bloodborne you can see all that stuff it's pretty amazing this looks like a, a hidden wall but it's not um, down here if you go down to where this river is at there's gonna be a bunch of dogs well not really I think maximum four dogs and this is where you can take on the optional boss of this DLC, which is the dragon that we just saw. And obviously there's the boss. Here we got a uh, NPC. Right there. We'll talk to him in a moment. Uh, I just want to show you guys the, the shortcut. So this is the shortcut that I was talking about. Okay, see, this takes this takes us back to pretty much the beginning of the map. Uh, if you keep going straight from here to there, that will take you back to where Elizabeth is, uh, the mushroom, the bonfire, 
so if you guys want to go back there to rest up or whatever uh, if you kindle your barn fire you used up your Estus and you only got like one or two left you don't feel comfortable fighting the boss with that many uh, Estus you can go back rest up so yeah next up let's talk to Chester before we end off the run here hmm ah, let me guess snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past something like that yep yes of course exactly what happened to me we are both strangers in this strange land but at least now there are two of us and I believe he's a reference to Bloodborne too so not Bloodborne 2 it's Bloodborne <laughs> It's, by the time this game was out, um, Bloodborne was not out yet. It, it wasn't out until a while. Well, actually, I think they started making Bloodborne after this game. That was a separate team for uh, Dark Souls 2. That's why it felt so different. Um, and we got all these that we can get. How much do I have? Mm, I think I'll survive. How much arrows? arrows? Let's get my arrows back up to 100. Yeah, I think this will, this will let me make it through this area more or less. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, the legendary abyss walker from the old tales? Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> so, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> hmm? I've little to talk about, really. Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> hmm? uh, <laughs> so long. It even looks like Bloodborne. <laughs> The way, well, the way he's dressed, it looks like the hunter, obviously. Well, without the weird, creepy ass mask. Um, the top hat, there was a top hat set for the hunter as well. Um, yeah, but never the mask. And then the, his luggage and stuff, very bloodborne right there. So, yeah. Uh, if you kill this guy, you can get his armor. Just saying. If you want that fancy, fancy look, you can kill him for his armor. Uh, but later on, he'll invade you <laughs> once we get past this area. Like in the next area, he'll invade you. And if you kill him, I think you get his crossbow. Uh, and then you can come back to him and then you can whoop his ass and then you can get his set. So, yeah, up to you guys what you want to do. I'll probably just come back to kill him. But that is that for now. Uh... Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the Royal Woods for this episode. So I thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. Uh, yeah, once again, sorry about the background traffic noises. <laughs> this is what happens when I record in the morning. Or well, not in the morning, in the afternoon-ish time. But yeah. Uh, I'll try to record a little bit later, but usually I get really tired. I'm rambling here, but yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Holmes, out.